what I'm about to show you today is not only going to fool laymen, it is also going to fool magicians as I know it's already done on Instagram when I've done this a while ago and for the very first time I am going to teach you the secrets behind my coin matrix routine. So let's have a look at it first. So I hope you like that. If you want to learn the secret behind the routine, then stay with me and I'll explain everything you need to do this trick. Um, if you don't want to know the secret, then I'll see you later. And be sure to leave a like just for the video. But if you're still here, we're gonna go through everything you need for the coin matrix. So I'm gonna go through every little bit of detail with this trick and routine. So to start off with, you need eight coins, eight of the same coins. So grab yourself eight coins, which are the same. You are going to need eight cards as well. Doesn't matter whether they're blank, double backers, whatever. Doesn't matter, they can be old or new. Um, doesn't matter whether they're different as well. It doesn't really make a difference. You are also going to need a pair of scissors, preferably ones that are specific to cut material. You are also going to need the secret, the main secret behind it, which is some black velour or velvet, any material where you can stick something to. And the stuff we're gonna to use to stick to that is this. I'll leave a link in the description for it, what it's called. But this one specifically is called the Blue Tack, the Fast Tack Permanent multi-purpose spray glue and we're gonna go through everything how to set up now so for explanation purpose the light is deliberately set up quite bright so you can see the main secret behind this effect now a big secret in magic is something called black art now what black art is is something black on something black as well so it becomes transparent and you can't see it, it becomes hidden. Now it only works in certain light conditions as well hence why I have got bright lights on now so you can see when I throw that card on you can see the card itself still on but let me just adjust the lighting now from here it's a little bit harder to see you can still see it because I'm still in quite a bright room but it's harder to see. So let's learn how to make the black art and then get into the routine. So with one of the eight cards that you have picked up, you're gonna get yourself some scrap piece of paper or whatever, doesn't matter which side it is, and you're gonna place that either side you want to be covered with the black art. So I'm just gonna give this fast tack a little bit of a shake and you want to make sure that you spray all the card. Doesn't need too much. It will spray all over the place because I haven't used it in a while. Let's just clear that up. And that's really make sure you get the corners. It's a really fast sticking glue. So now I just want to lift that up by the corners. Just like so. We don't need that anymore and I'm gonna place it on the 
shiny side of the black velour, so not the dark side, the shiny side. I'm just going to place it in the corner, just like so, and just apply a tiny bit of pressure, letting that to dry. Now it's only going to take probably a minute or two to dry, so I'll just leave that to dry for a second. Approximately 10 hours later. So once that card's dry, you're going to grab yourself the specific velvet scissors. That way it can cut through material really easily. Not getting too close to the border edges. I'll explain that in a second why. So just around the edges, I'm just going to trim that a little bit more. It doesn't have to be that neat or anything for this trick. So now you've got yourself a black card art on one side. Once you've done that, you need to do that to three more. So four in total you need. You need four black art cards. So if you have cut too close to the edge, don't worry. Or if you're worried that the edges of the card might flash, you can also grab yourself a Sharpie and just rub it against the edge of the card like so and that will keep the corners all darkened out and do that a few times just to darken them all out on all the sides and all the cards just so it keeps it a little bit more hidden when it's on the floor you won't get any flashing or if you've cut too far you can either start again or just use that sharpie to cover all the white so now you've got your four black art cards. We're gonna go through the setup and the routine behind the matrix. So grab your eight duplicate coins now and we're gonna go through the setup behind the coin matrix. So you're gonna place four of them. Or well, this is for me, you don't have to do it this way. You can come up with your own ideas, do whatever, I'd love to see them. You can do the four coins on there and place the black art card on top of the coins there. So in the light you can still see it. That little black art there covering those coins. With the other three black art cards you are going to place one coin just to the side of each one. And also that one is going to go on top of the four coins which are under here already. And then on top of the black art. So, you're now going to turn the black art cards like so, next to the coins. I think you can see where this is going now. And you're all set up ready. You just need four other cards. So I'm going to get rid of this black cloth in a minute so it gives you a better clear view. But the very basics of it now is that you are placing the card on top of the black art each time so on so on and then when you pick up you're picking up the black art as well and then dropping it on top of the coin so it looks like it vanishes but let's do the explanation without this cloth so it becomes a little bit more clearer so your setup is all ready now you've got the four coins under there the other four coins in your hand you're going to place the one on top of the black art, one just to the side, that side, one that side, and one that side of the black art. Now, when you drop these, you could show these both sides. This is why it fools magicians, because people think that there will be black art here. They don't expect me to be picking up the black art and dropping it. So that's where the really fooling bit comes. So you can do this. You can place those on top of the black art next to the cards ready. And this one goes directly over the black art and the card itself. So from here on out, it's all about the presentation and how you pick it up as well. So what you wanna make sure is that you don't, for example, on this coin here, pick up the black art here so that the coin disappears with the black background before the card goes over it. 
So really make sure you can over exaggerate it as well. Put the card more further over the black card. So then as soon as the card goes over, the coin is covered. As soon as you want to vanish it, just drop the card and you can show both there. I think I did like a little wave there and then it just drops whenever. Show both sides, so on, so on, whatever you want to do, show both sides. And then the final one, you're going to pick up the card itself with the black art, keeping the coin in between the two because everyone's seen those vanish. There was one coin beneath there before and then you just drop that making sure that card stays on top of the black art so you can keep that coin there or depending on your angles you can push it forward covering the coin that all depends on the angle so from this angle probably not the best as you can see it and then you have your four coins which you can give out to be examined again and that is the coin matrix routine so like I said that has fooled laymen and magicians um, it is for stage magic but that's obviously because you can control the lighting you're not going to do it close up or if you just want to do it for video purposes it's perfect now it doesn't necessarily have to be a black card on black cloth it can be white on white it can be anything as long as they're matching and you can control the lighting around you so it's not a hard trick to do very minimal sleight of hand if next to none all you gotta do is make sure you pick it up at the right place that the card goes over before your hidden color that you're choosing the black art whatsoever and the rest is all about presentation i like giving it that spooky feeling that you can wave it and then whenever you want you can let the spectator choose whenever they want whenever they say a certain word boom it's gone drop the card vanish so really fooling and i think you'll enjoy it i hope you do please be sure to leave a like if you like the video or if you learned something new and drop me a comment if you've got any ideas with this and tag me in the videos as well whether it's twitter instagram here facebook i'd love to see them hope you enjoy that i'll see you soon